Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about Constant Contact and compare it with MailChimp. And at the end of this episode, I will show you my template that I use. So stick around till the end. Alright, so Constant Contact and MailChimp are two very similar platforms. Uh, the, the, what they do is that, that you can uh, use their email uh, platform, I guess, to send uh, emails to multiple people at the same time and, you know, organize your emails, make templates, etc. Some people use it for their e-commerce business, for their regular business. Some people use it for, um, like, just to collect emails and send out some newsletters and stuff like that. Uh, but we as wholesalers, we want to use it as well. So here I'm going to break it down from a real estate wholesaler view, which one is better. Because I use both and there's one that I hate a lot and one that I really like. I think about a couple minutes in the video, you'll be able to tell which one is that. All right, we'll start with constant contact. So this is how it looks. It's a very uh, simple platform. There's not a lot to it. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail to break down the platform. Um, I will go over main points of why one platform is better than another. And this is MailChimp. It's a very simple platform as well. But here at the top, you can see something that says that my account has one or more issues. And we're, we'll be getting into that in a minute. All right, let's start with pricing, okay? So price-wise, Constant Contact has two plans. It's not a free plan. Um, the plans are either $20 a month that you get email, you pretty much get everything you need if you're uh, starting off. The things that you don't get is customizable pop-up forms, automated email welcome series and stuff like that. You will need that when you have bigger email list or if you're doing e-commerce and stuff like that and somebody signs up for your email list and you want them to you know, get an email right away when they sign up, you're like, hey, welcome to whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is what this emails, uh, what this newsletter are going to be about. So that might be a good option for you if you're doing that. Surveys, uh, coupons, you see dynamic content, new customer consultation. Uh, you get that as well so that like when you um, sign up for, if you do the $45 a month plan, they give you a, like a consultation for an hour or so and they kind of explain you how the system works. So I think that's a good plan. Uh, especially if you're doing something bigger than just real estate wholesaling, if you do other stuff. But, um, and I started with that plan, but I downgraded because I didn't need a lot of things that were happening in that plan. So I would downgrade it down to the $20 plan because here I pretty much have everything I need for, uh, as a real estate wholesaler. MailChimp on the other end is actually a free, uh, to start with, but there is a kick to it. Okay. So, uh, with constant contact, you get support either way. You may not get the new customer consultation when you start off if you get the $20 plan. But with the $20 plan, you get a customer service. You can call them. There's a phone number on top. You can contact them, stuff like that. MailChimp is not like that. You start, you get the free plan. You figure out your own what you're doing. Nobody tells you anything. Um, there's no support that you can even chat with or call. Uh, that only is good for uh, the $10 plan. So for you to actually get, I uh, would say the most value out of MailChimp, you want to go all the way down to standard. Here's why, because you do want to have advanced audience insights. Uh, you want to know uh, what your audience um, replies to, uh, what is the response rate and open rate and all that kind of stuff. So I would suggest going at least standard uh, because don't go with a free plan. Free plan is pointless uh, in my opinion because so they say for $10, you actually get the support, right? With zero dollars, you can email them and get a response within three, four days, which really sucks. So that really turned me off from MailChimp. So I did not like the zero dollar, the free plan. And I upgraded to the $10 plan to try to figure out the, the problem that I had. It still took them a while to respond to me. It wasn't as quick as I would hope so. So now let's get into templates. So all of these websites, they, they have all of the softwares, I guess, they have templates that you can use for your business. With Constant Contact, you actually get a ton of templates right here. So, and that's for $20. I think they say with MailChimp for the $15, you do get all the templates as well. Um, but we'll check it in a second. So here you get all kinds of templates. There's a, a lot of them. Some of them are, you can customize yourself. They kind of give you an idea. 
Uh, this basic announce mode is what I pretty much use for my own. I'll show you guys in, uh, in later in the video how I use mine. Um, the basic newsletter could be used as well for a wholesaler, but there's a lot to, to look at. You know, there's some, I, I saw some real estate ones, like, there's like real estate agents use. There's a lot of templates to choose from. You can find something that you would like your template to look at and just add a couple things and yours will be exactly the same. With MailChimp, okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, and then you got the basic ones and then that's it. So that's with a free plan. As far as I understand with the more expensive plan, you, you get more, uh, but this is with a free plan. And I think that's like, again, I just think free plan is pointless and it's just kind of, you know, I, I think it's a waste of time to be honest, to even to do it. Now let's get into what um, the reporting system, how the reporting works on each one of them. Now let's get into reporting. Unfortunately, I can't do reporting on MailChimp because I did downgrade from a paid plan to a, a free plan when it didn't work out with MailChimp when I had to switch to constant contact. Here, what's really cool, you know, it tells you everything that happened, you know, how many opens, clicks, desktop, open average, stuff like that. It's good to know, you know, um, that you can click do not open and then actually reach out personally to those people who didn't open your emails if you wanted to do it that way. So I think this done pretty well. You can also advertise. They help you advertise on social, Facebook, Google, so constant contact, I believe is like a little bit of a more a user friendly software than MailChimp. And there's like a lot more that goes into it, I believe. And at least because when I signed up, I got the $45 plans in the beginning. They actually explained to me a lot of things that, um, a lot of things in the software that are better than MailChimp. It's not that they were saying that they're better. They were just telling me the things they can do that I know MailChimp can't. So I did really enjoy it. Like I said, MailChimp, I can't really do anything. I can't really show you how the reporting works. But what I can show you is the issue that I, I've had with them and the reason why I had to quit, uh, I had to, I guess, leave MailChimp and go to Constant Contact. Here's something called Terms of Service Violation. And I got this thing twice. And you can see that I contacted Compliance July 4th. We're recording this on August 21st and I haven't heard back from them. When I started to advertise on MailChimp, when I started to, you know, send out my properties to buyers, all these buyers provided me those emails over text and, you know, and said, okay, just send me properties or whatever. And, you know, I legally obtained their uh, email. I didn't like just to uh, look for it or whatever. Uh, and then they said, okay, so you can't just do that, bring emails, they have to sign up through a form. Then I had my buyers sign up through a form um, because they said that the buyers have to, or the, the customers have to sign up personally through MailChimp uh, and I'm, that's the only way I'm gonna be able to send them emails. And this is kind of crazy because for a wholesaler, if you have every single buyer that you ever talked to sign up through a service, I guess, through a special link, a lot of them won't do it. You know, some of them will, but a lot of them won't. So, uh, but I had a small list. It was okay. I figured it out. It was fine. I was able to do it. But then even after I'd done all that, after I'd done all that, they still blocked me and I still don't understand why. They literally say that something violation. And I've been looking into it and I've read a couple, on a couple of forums is that actually a lot of people that do wholesale and real estate have issues with MailChimp. Uh, MailChimp may be great if you are not in real estate, but as a real estate person, MailChimp has been absolutely pointless, um, waste of time, waste of my nerves, uh, I, I would not use it. So as a wholesaler, constant contact is your option, drop that extra $20 a month, it will be worth the value, especially if you have a big buyer list and then you can just send them out at the same time. And like I promised you guys, here's my template, the one I use. I'll show you one of the properties that I sent out. This was a while ago, so this property is not available anymore, so don't worry about it. So this is the template I use. You know, you got the uh, template, you got the, uh, just the headline, the description of the property, photograph, a little more description, my phone number, a uh, couple of pictures shows where the property is, all that stuff and then disclosure. And that's about it. Super simple, super easy to make. If you guys want a separate video to show me, to show you how I do my template, how I create it, I created it from like one property and I also have a template that I use for multiple properties that I can send in the same email. Uh, leave a comment down below that you want this to be done 
and I'll make a video about that. But thank you guys for tuning into this episode. I hope you appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, guys, 